today we're going to make some shelves for my pantry in the back of my kitchen. I, I went and took some measurements and I made a cut list. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. These uh, shelves are going to be made out of uh, 1 by 12 lumber. I have two uh, 10 foot sections here and after measuring everything out, I'm going to need one more so I'll run over and get that later. Right now I'm just going to cut this, uh, put these boards up to the sizes I need and uh, then we're going to round over all the edges. Now we just got to get all these boards sanded up and uh, be ready for the next step. I'm going to use a router with a three quarter inch bit to make my dados. I have a board clamp to the piece that I'm working on as a guide. I went and I clamped both of the end boards together so that I get the same dado on each end. I didn't want to make too deep of a cut so I made three passes using that three quarter inch bit going down an eighth of an inch at a time. That dado bit really worked well. They were tight but I'd rather have them that way than being really loose. I ran and got that board that I needed this morning and I cut it to length and run it over the edges. Now we're gonna I'm gonna give it a shot putting this thing together. I'm just gonna dry fit it and see how everything looks. I'm a little worried about the dados that I cut just because they uh, they look like they're real tight. Okay, I got it sort of dry fitted. Um, I didn't know how these datums were going to work. It sure would have helped if I would have uh, planed those boards just a little bit, because they're just a little bit out of out of pump. But anyway, this is how it's going to look. And right in here, I'm going to run a rod, put some hangers on it, so you can frying pan, uh, pans and things like that. And I was going to put shelf of some sort up here, but as big a pain in the ass as this was so far, I'm going to skip that. i just call this good. So now I'm going to uh, take it all apart and uh, get it ready to put together for a real fit. Okay, I'm putting it together. Now, I decided go with pocket screws. I want to pull these joints tight together and uh, it seemed like the best way to do it. So I'll just carry on here. Okay, I'm putting it together. 
together. Now, I decided to go with pocket screws. I wanted to pull these joints tight together. And, uh, it seemed like the best way to do it. Okay, done building it. Uh, it went pretty well. All of the joints aren't as tight as I wanted them. Uh, if I did it again, instead of using pocket screws, I would countersink some screws on the end. I thought pocket screws would be a little better, but that didn't turn out to be true. So now all I have to do is uh, put some, uh, I'm going to put some Danish oil on it. I've never used that before, so I, I'm always looking for something else to try. So I'm going to try some Danish oil and see how it turns out. Well, I think it looks good. I really like that color. Uh, I'll be using that Danish oil again. I got one more coat uh, to put it on. One thing about the Danish oil, it really soaks in. Uh, it isn't the cheapest thing I've used in the world, but I like it a lot better than a stain. A lot of the stains look so fake, but this really does look pretty natural. This is supposed to be uh, light walnut, and I really like the color. So I'm going to get uh, one more coat on this, and that should be it. So thanks for watching.